Good luck to both of you. Good luck. Good luck to both of you. Touch them up. Top shelf superstars, and so far, none of them have chosen to do so. So, what serves Golovkin's purpose better? Yet another knockout, which makes him look indomitable? Or Miguel Cotto? There's something to be said for both. Even though he's a confident fighter, Jim, you can start to see, and knowing he's frequently in punching range, the other guy here, Gil, has to constantly do things to keep him off. And so far, Gil doing a nice job of disrupting Golovkin's rhythm. Yes, and he's landed a couple of good body shots because opponents have been known to go down. Golovkin knocked him down three times in seventh round, seven rounds. Maneuvers with his shoulders of Gil. And there's the footwork. Gil trying to slip away to the right. Golovkin tracks him against the ropes, then pressures him into the corner, bangs him with a huge right hand. Hooking off the jab and making it look good. Left hook to the body, solidly landed. As Marvin Hagler used to say, a seek and destroy type of fighter, but he's patient. Golovkin <laughs> stepped away and gave him plenty of time to get up. Now combination punching against the ropes by Golovkin. Gil looking for something to counter, and did so with the right hand. It's already lasted significantly longer than three minutes. One thing you don't need against Gennady Golovkin is for the round to be a minute too long. That was an odd occurrence. And then the clock was allowed to run to four minutes rather than the normal three. And now Gil has a cut above the right eye. And Golovkin is going to work. Body shot, hard right hand upstairs. Down goes Gil, first knocked out of the fight. But Golovkin, again, his positioning because of the footwork, Jim, which is why you see him sometimes grab Golovkin and then spin him. Going to have to land with authority to try to keep Golovkin at bay. So Gil's muscling up and trying to put as much as he can on every punch. Meanwhile, Golovkin looks extraordinarily relaxed. He didn't say anything, but he made a motion with his hand as though Golovkin had hit him with a rabbit punch in the back of the head, but it was difficult to determine with a naked eye exactly what punch caused the knockdown. Good left hook by Gil. Yeah. Even if, and, and Golovkin with him on the ropes again. Good straight right hand by Golovkin. Gil making a spirited hey, effort, but too often getting caught as he comes forward. Good left hook by Golovkin. Right hand by Golovkin, drives Gil into the ropes. People have asked me often, Jim, who does Golovkin knock down? Stiff jab from Golovkin, right hand misses. Left, left hook hand misses. misses, right hand, there it is. You can see it kind of great, it hit him, but slid across the back of his head, causing the knockdown. The fighters counted by CompuBox, averaging 12 jabs landed per round. Nobody else lands as many. More wildly, than we've seen in recent fights. Take advantage of it when Golovkin misses the way he did. Left hook by Golovkin. Now he's got Gil cornered again. <laughs> Trying to lose. He's losing because he's in with a better fighter. Gil doesn't have a lot for him and is walking toward him. Walking him down, yeah. Spot to spot, trapping Gil against the ropes, cornering him, and hammering him like that body shot. Down goes Gil again on a brilliant right hand. And Gil can't go forward, and it's a third round knockout for Golovkin. That was smart by Gil. He saw he had no balance. Well, Gil trying to exchange with him, figures that's the best time to hit him. Clips him with a nice little right hand, but that's a bazooka yeah. that Golovkin is throwing. You're not going to find many middleweights in the world who could last past 
that. Right, it was a one-punch knockout. And that was coming off of getting hit flush by a Gil right hand. The undefeated Gennady Triple G.